Alright, so here we have the complete Tosai Jiro looking pretty solid. So right here on the left arm, you can see that it's actually Cube Rhino's head. And over here on the left, we have Cube Crocodile as a weapon. Of course, you can open his mouth in order to grab on the things. And over here, the legs are actually formed by the head of Cube Rhino's, while the body forms the upper part over here together with the shoulders. So of course, with the state that the shoulders are in, they can still fit cubes. And they're actually quite uh, flexible, you can rotate them around joints like this, which I think is quite nice. Gives you more flexibility with posing. And of course, Cube Wolf actually turned into the head right over here, so you can see he's right behind over there. And yeah, by flipping over one part of Cube Wolf, you actually reveal Tosai Jewel's head right over here, along with the panels which have the, the symbols of the three cube animals. In the middle, we have the rhinos, on the left crocodile, and on the right wolf. But for this to work, there's actually quite a considerable amount of space between Cube Wolf and the front, which I don't particularly like, but I guess from the front, it looks quite fine. Design-wise, another problem I have is that uh, while he still looks quite badass and bulky, more like Jewel Wild rather than Jewel King, uh, overall it feels like you know his legs are a bit too skinny compared to the rest of his body. His feet are very bulky though, which I think is quite cool. So I didn't really realize it in the show, but he feels a bit like uh, lopsided, very much on the top compared to the rest of the body. So let's take a look at the rest of him. This is his side view with Cube Crocodile. He looks really nice from the back. A lot better than the other Cube Gatai formations, which are like just the numbers behind, you know. <laughs> so, oops. Yeah, as you can tell, this guy faces pretty much the same problems as most of the model kits in this series, which are that the, the joints between combinations are quite loose, so uh, I wouldn't recommend gluing them together though, because the whole point of this is that you're able to take them apart as you want and put them back together in different combinations, yeah, so that's something to consider. And on the back, yeah, the back looks really nice. I would even say that I think the back looks nicer than the front, even though like there's a lot of hollow open parts. And over here we have the right. And that is pretty much Tosai Jewel. So let's just take a look. Give you guys a better look at the front part. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm not sure it is. Yeah, I don't think it becomes much clearer from this distance. Oh well, so looks like we'll be done. Whoa! Okay, we'll be done with Tosai Jewel just like that. And before we move on into the combination of all nine of the first nine jewel cubes in order to become Wild Tosai King, I want to show you guys a combination that you can do with the cubes with this model kit set, but they didn't actually show it in the actual series. So let's take a look at Jewel King 178. <laughs> 